Hey, Matt. Yeah, it was an exciting game, and a rest day seemed to be exactly what the Southeast Little Leaguers needed. They practiced yesterday morning, and after practice, they then got to connect with their parents, and some of them haven't seen their parents in over a week. So after they got reacquainted with their parents, they come back to the field, they are refreshed. And some key, there were some nail-biting moments, as you just showed, but some key hits and some key defensive plays to go along with some great pitching by Colin Townsend and Mason McFate seem to be exactly what North, what Southeast needed to get the win here in Williamsport. Water in the veins. He he deliver. I can't. You know, he just always delivers. Seems seems like no nothing's ever too big for him. And and somehow, I mean, that's what I was I was trying to figure out. Three three outs on four pitches. I mean, it, it took a. My head couldn't even wrap around that. I had to ask both our coaches, uh, Coach Jackson and Everhart, how how did we do that? But it, it, he, I mean, that's what he does, and he, he got us he got us back into the dugout. I think we all knew that Colin was going to go in throw strikes, and I think Colin knew that we were going to come in and make plays for him. So I think that just reassured our whole team having us stay comfortable out there and trusting each other. When we got up three, I knew if I just threw strikes that my team would make plays for me and they wouldn't do much. I mean, we knew that these pitchers weren't throwing gas and we could just sit back and, I mean, I've been feeling pretty comfortable at the plate um, lately and I just knew I had it, so I just sat back and at that first play appearance, I just took it over the first baseman's head. So Southeast gets the win, and they will now play tomorrow morning. A quick turnaround. They play 10 a.m. on ESPN, but they will be definitely be ready for the game.